Is this thing on? How do you tell if it's on? Red light. Greetings, Earthling. Coming to you from my alien lair. Funny. Oh, it looks like New Mexico. Wow. This looks like the perfect fake alien landscape, and it's right here near San Fe. Um, please disregard that previous interruption. As I was saying, I will be in your area getting my mail. Area 51, to be precise. You know, our black mailbox. Which, for some damn reason, you've now painted white. What the f***? Anyway, I will be checking my mail on May 20th, which happens to coincide with the alignment of Sol, your sun, and Luna, your moon, creating a solar eclipse. I figure I may just park my ship and set up one of those telescope thingies and a video reproduction device and broadcast the eclipse live on your worldwide internet. any of those on our planet. Join me at Scotty's Sky. At, I will begin promptly at 6.10 p.m. I will begin promptly at 6.10 p.m. The eclipse starts at 6.21 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time on your planet. The annular part of the eclipse begins at 7.32 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 7... 32 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. And last for about three minutes. Side note, I intend to broadcast from our mailbox, but there could be one problem. You Earthlings still have limited networking capability. Can you audio perceive me now? Can you audio perceive me now? Checking your Verizon G3 network coverage map, there may not be a signal carrier for me to transmit on. If that happens, I have a backup plan to be on the east side of Area 51 on Highway 93 in your Nevada desert. Don't forget to tune in promptly at 6.10 p.m. for the start of our daytime star party. Promptly, 6.10 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Here is some more earthly information.